If you believe in unicorns and tooth fairies and the Loch Ness Monster, then you won't have any problem when you hear Rahm Emanuel from Chicago and dozens and dozens of mayors, public officials, reporters, and pundits around the country use their favorite excuse for how they ignore, deny, condone, excuse, encourage, and even lie about the level of black mob violence and black criminality in this country. Starting around Memorial Day, everything's about the weather. Oh, it's too hot out there. That means black people are committing crime in the heat. I mean, that's, I mean, I don't know how you connect those two facts, but reporters, when they're talking to Rahm Emanuel, they're not really into connecting facts. They're just into reporting whatever he could say as quickly as he could say it. Well, maybe there is something to, to this. <laughs> no, not really, but why, don't we take, but why don't we take a look at these two examples coast to coast. One from New York City, one from Glendale, Arizona. We'll start in New York City. First one's a uh, bunch of the fellas. They make a phone call, lure a Chinese food delivery driver into their tenement. Bing, bam, boom. Bad stuff happens. Then, my dear, happy for the child. Fire and the windows bright glittered on the moon. We begin the Valley's only 11 o'clock newscast with breaking news right now. Glendale police looking for three men who barged into a man's home and then shot him. Police are telling us it all happened around 9 this morning near 59th Avenue and Cactus. The victim is in the hospital right now and is expected to be okay. Police are still gathering information about what happened, but the victim did tell police three men robbed him before shooting him. We're waiting for police to give us a description, and as soon as we get that information, we will bring it to you. A locked up smart meter, boarded up window, and smashed bricks. That's what's left over today at this home close to Josh Bradley's. That was kind of scary to, uh, to know that somebody, you know, just right across the street here, you know, that something like this could happen to them. A friend of the victim tells us the scary ordeal all started just after midnight on Cypress Drive. Police say two teenagers, ages 17 and 18, knocked out the meter, cutting off electricity. After that, they say they cut these wires, smashed in a window, and went in. That's when investigators say they sexually assaulted the woman who lives there and then kidnapped her in her own car. It just seems like an extreme, uh, you know, that's a, that's a rise in the level of of violence. Neighbors say as they were driving off, they actually hit this brick fence in the yard. Take a look. You can see where the brick has been knocked over. Police say the suspects then drove nearly 20 miles to Dorothea Taylor's Oak Haven neighborhood. Nothing ever goes on over here. But it's where police say the teens let the victim out and kept going. The woman went to this home on Morning View for help. Once officers arrived, they took her to the hospital. Um, whatever she's going through, I know it's probably hard by now. Police say Crittenden County Sheriff's deputies eventually caught up with the suspects near Crawfordsville, Arkansas during the day Friday. They say the car had a broken bumper, probably from hitting the bricks. In Midtown, Stacey Jacobson, WREG News Channel 3. Now we've also learned that a third suspect, 18-year-old Sky Harris, is charged with accessory after the fact. Hind Park neighbors are telling us that there was another home invasion that was one street over a year ago. They're asking city officials why they don't have sky cops. You know, True to Roof was pointed this out to me the other day. That if hot weather is a cause of crime in Chicago, then all these cities in Arizona should be one big, hot, bubbling cauldron of black criminality. Well, Arizona is not known for that. But when there is a case of the violence like this, like this home invasion, like the robberies, like the murders, when we do see something like that, we're not saying black people do every single one, but we are saying that black criminality is wildly out of proportion. If you want to say that's due to the weather, go ahead. All I know is that attributing all to the weather that usually does not make the black kids angry.